The migratory monarch butterflies in North America are at significant risk of extinction. That is how the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, recently judged the butterfly's status. The one that migrates from eastern United States and Canada in the summertime to Mexico in the winter. Over the last 10 years, we calculated that that subpopulation has declined between 20 and 72 percent. The decline in the western migratory population was 66 to 91 percent. The group's designation carries no legal weight to force conservation steps. Monarchs already enjoy protections in Mexico, while Canada and the United States are still studying whether to officially designate them as endangered. See, we got a monarch over here. Veteran insect ecologist Chip Taylor believes monarch butterflies as a species will survive around the world and even in parts of the United States. Well, this decision by IUCN does not take a, just as recognize at all the fact that the population really increased uh, tremendously in California last year and it increased in Mexico as well. A study published in June found that monarchs overall are thriving. That is based on a massive analysis of breeding monarchs counted over 25 summers. There's this sort of weird psychological trend where people actually want to believe monarchs are in trouble rather than believe that they're, they're doing fine, which is what our study showed. The differing opinions about monarchs draw on different data. Instead of northern surveys counting breeding adults, IUCN and others use data from the forests where monarchs overwinter in central Mexico. Those data show an 85% drop since the mid-1990s, but with big swings. Last year, hibernating butterflies covered 35% more forest than the year before. Mexican officials concede room for error, since there is no way to count every insect in each tree. The only measurement that we are taking is that of the surface of forest it occupies, and we don't consider the data to be complete. A more exact count could help salvage a migratory wonder. Some monarchs fly more than 2,000 miles to hibernate. It would help us make consensual decisions on what actions to prioritize to preserve the migratory phenomenon. Technology might be an answer. The Canadian government told VOA that LIDAR, which uses lasers to measure things like pollution and terrain, is being tested. In 2024, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will formally decide whether monarchs are threatened or endangered, which could trigger conservation rules. Now, our listing decision also is, of course, not solely limited to the overwintering data, but we look at all of the science that would document the status of the populations, including the, the Western population and the global population as well. But there's no need to wait for a government listing to reverse one of the monarch's biggest enemies, habitat loss. To help increase the habitat for monarchs and other species, scientists recommend planting native milkweed alongside other nectar-producing flowering plants. At her Virginia home, Catherine Dietz already grows three types of native milkweed, food for hungry monarch caterpillars. I also intend to provide um, host plants for other butterflies and other species than monarchs, though monarchs have a special place in my heart. Veronica Valderas Iglesias for VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.